hey y'all good morning it's time to get ready with me wednesday my collab every wednesday with kat um so this morning i'm just getting ready for work and today i think i'm going to use my uh zova blank fusion that i got in my boxy charm this is what it looks like. We'll see how she works. I gotta get my face ready. I was off yesterday. Took a flex day. You can only keep busy when you're closed for so long. But I'll find stuff to do for sure. I'm thankful to have a job. I'm just using my Wet n Wild um, Cream Beige Foundation. It's like my favorite right now. Use this brush. Yes, it needs to be cleaned. I did just clean it not that long ago, though. I don't even think it's been a week. How are you all doing today? If you haven't gone over to Kat's channel, I highly recommend that you do. She's an amazing lady. She lives in Texas. She plays bass. She's working from home right now. because of all the stuff that's going on. I wish I could work from home. Although I do know that my, uh, my sister's husband, he works for a school and uh, he's working from home right now. And they say, he's, she said it gets kind of hard, you know what I mean, trying to, all your days start to mesh together and I'm gonna use my uh, Wet n Wild concealer and this one is beige, I think. Photo Focus Concealer. Put some dots underneath my eyes. Not that it helps with the bags, but I still try. Here, here. A little in my smile line. Right there on my chin. <laughs> That's attractive. You wanna have a date? <laughs> and then I'm gonna use this little sponge and just kind of blend it in. But anyways, what was I saying? Oh, working from home. It's hard, I think it's hard to like stay on a schedule because you never leave your house, you know what I mean? And then all your days start to blend together. My sister said he woke up on a Sunday and thought he needed to work, you know what I mean? Because you're not leaving to go to work and so, whatever, you know what I mean. I just poked myself in the eye. That didn't feel so good. All right, now that that's all blended out, I do have, can you see that right there? A little blemish. Let's just pat this in. This is my Fit Me Fit Me Concealer, Maybelline, Maybelline. I guess it's a little bit better. All right, now I'm gonna use my uh, Everyday Vacay Ciate London Setting Powder. Put a little bit in here. It's got it all over the place. So I just like to pat a little on my sponge and just kinda put it all over my face. 
and then I'll use my brush to like wipe it away. My big brush. Brush all that away. Alright, next. Bronzer. Let's go ahead and do the bronzer with this bling brush. This is my F5. Aren't they beautiful? I really want the black ones. I think those ones are super pretty. Maybe it'll be a treat to myself someday. Although I was thinking about getting a melt, melt, melt cut cosmetics I was talking to um Stacy flawed and fabulous and uh she said she asked me if I had any milk cosmetics and I don't because they're like super expensive although I do have my Jeffree Star palette I wonder if milk cosmetics was on after pay maybe I could get it once this I have an afterpay right now, so once that one's done, maybe I can, I don't know, we'll see. I would like to try it though, but for good things about it. I am starting to get a lot of palettes though. I need to use up what I've got before I buy more. How's that look? Right. Bronzed, bronzed, bronzed. Now, blue. Get this blush brush and then um mm -hmm. I think we'll use this color right here. Look, do you see those wrinkles right there? Ugh. I hate getting older. Alright, now, <clears throat> let's do the brows, whoa, take this, brush them up, I like to do my face first before I do my eyes, because I just don't want to have to be like, because I did try to do my eyes first one time, I'm just using there's still some in there. I tried to do my eyes first and then do my face. And it was just, I don't know. You gotta be so careful when you're putting the foundation on not to like, you know, when you do it before, you can just blend it all in, whatever, and then you put your eye makeup on and your brows after but if you do your eyes and your brows and everything first then you got to be like super careful not to mess it up when you're putting your foundation on which goes all over your face so I don't know for me it kind of doesn't make sense but that's just me if there's going to be fallout I'd rather just like do my face makeup and then just put some powder under here to catch the fallout. Instead of trying to be super careful not to mess up my brows and my eye makeup. Does that make sense? I think so. Makes sense to me anyway. Not much really went on this last week. I did have a doctor's appointment I had to go see the cardiologist for a um, stress test so they have you walk on a treadmill for like what the nurse said they want to get your heart rate up to at least like 
150, 160, something like that. So I guess everything came out okay with that. But I had had, uh, um, they did an ultrasound a little bit back. I can't remember exactly how long ago it was. But they did an ultrasound to check my heart because I had gone into my regular doctor and they did an EKG and it was an abnormal EKG. So they did an ultrasound and that's when they sent me to the cardiologist and the cardiologist wanted me to do the stress test thingy. So there's like, I guess, um, I don't know. There's something in your heart, my heart that's supposed to be like this, but it's kind of like this a little bit. So he said that, I guess it's common in people, but he said in a small amount of cases, it can cause you to have a um, heart attack or a stroke, which, so I started crying. He's like, why are you crying? <laughs> because even though it's a small chance, there's still a chance. Like, that's why I'm crying. All right, so I'm gonna take this color up here, which is Noble, this white. And I'm just gonna put it right underneath my brow bone. And then he had asked me why I stopped on the treadmill, but I I thought you only did it for like a certain amount of time. Like they have you do it for like 20 minutes or whatever. So I was walk I ended up to the point where I was running. My legs were kind of getting a little bit tired. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not in the best shape. Um, but he's like, Why did you stop? Well, she's the nurse that was in there with me was the one that told me that you only had to do it until you got your heart rate up to 160. And then she was like, when it got to 160, she's like, can you go for one more minute? And I kept going and kept going. And then I was like, I just didn't feel like doing it anymore. You know what I mean? My heart rate was up there. Why keep doing it? I had already been there for like an hour. Oh. I'm going in with Travel Inspired, this color right here. I'm just going to put that in the, well, I'm just going to put it all over. But the doctor made me feel like, made me feel bad. But I think by the, by the end of the appointment, his kind of demeanor changed a little bit and he was being a little bit nicer to me about it. When you're dealing with your heart and stuff like that, it's a little bit scary. So don't make me feel stupid because I'm not a doctor and I'm crying because you just told me basically I could have a stroke or a heart attack. I mean, my mother was 49 years old when she died from a heart attack. So I'm 47. So it's a little scary. Yesterday was, would have been her 73rd birthday. So April's a little bit tough because not only is it her birthday month, but it's also the month that she passed away. Let's see. Hmm. Now what color to use? Hmm. Well, we'll use this one. So we'll use this one now and darken it up just a little bit. Uh, it's Joy, Joy in a Box. Joy in a Box. I'm just going to use this one again. Oh, I just stuck my finger in that one. Ugh, that's a bummer. I'm just going to put this one in the crease and deepen it up a little bit. All right. Now I think I'm going to go in with conched. I think it's conched, which is a little bit darker right here. Isn't that lovely? See, my first one fell off. I want to take the others off, but they're still stuck on there pretty good and it's going to hurt. If I try to take them off right now, 
and I don't have a really good I don't have a really good file to file them all down. I'm gonna use this brush instead. My son went with his dad yesterday. I guess he's gonna be taking him on Tuesdays and uh, Tuesdays and Saturdays. So after he left. I went into his room and I took his uh, his laptop and his Xbox. He's not going to be too happy with me when he gets home. But <clears throat> that's what happens when you don't listen and you don't do your schoolwork. And next will be his phone. The only thing that sucks about that is I don't have I don't have a landline. I mean, I have a landline, but something's wrong with it, and so it's not working, and with everything going on, I haven't been able to get anybody out here to look and see why it's not working. Um, I wanted to wait, so if I take his phone away from him, I have no way of getting a hold of him. And he has no way of getting a hold of anybody if something happens. You know what I mean? And he's going to be here at the house by himself. So I just don't like not being able to get a hold of him. All right. Now for the lid. I'm going to use late bloomer right there these do have a little bit of kick up all right now i'm going to use this brush and go in with that conched and just put it underneath here. Right, all right, all right. <laughs> Let's see, use the cake pencil. Oh no. Five minutes. Awesome. All right, got that. Now let's curl. Flash Princess. Do you see that? Why I love this uh, mascara. It's good stuff. Use this e.l.f. mascara for the bottom ones because it's got a littler applicator. Little. I'm gonna use the cake pencil and go in my water line. All right, there's that. So what do you guys think? I mean, it's not like I don't have colors like this in a bunch of other palettes, but I don't know, it's not bad. I think it works pretty good. There's a little bit of fallout. Um in here you can see it on here i don't know if you can see, but yeah i'm gonna use this little bit of darker color what's that say last last bite i think it says just go up underneath here Right, 
lips, lips, lips. is chocolate Avon I like using pencils I have some of these lip liners but I don't like these as much as I like the pencils for a lip liner I don't know why it just seems to apply better for me with the pencil than it does with that gel thingy or whatever so I'm gonna use my Elsa I love this lipstick. And then, hmm, let's go for this. Mm, it's pretty. All right, so that's it for me. We're 32 minutes. Hopefully I can cut it down a little bit. So I just got to blow dry my hair and get ready to get out of here. Pack up some food. I don't think it looks too bad. What do you guys think? I think it looks nice for... An everyday go to natural. I like it. But I'm not real picky either. So I'm easy to please. <laughs> I love getting palettes in my BoxyCharm, and I haven't had any palette that I haven't liked. So, all right, well, that's it for my Get Ready Wednesday. What do you think, Kat? How's it look? I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay safe, take care, stay healthy. And uh, well, I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure that you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and comment. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd really love it if you joined my family and uh, leave me a comment. I love interacting with everybody that's joined my family. Um, I like getting to know you all and uh, talking back and forth about things. So, yeah, leave a comment. Say hello. I would love to hear from you. So, have a wonderful day. I will see you guys all in my next video. All right. Bye.